morning. Check this out today. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, this morning I'm in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. And this one, this one should set you free. This is some good stuff. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do good things He planned for us long ago. You know how much wisdom is right there in that one little verse? First off, check this out. You're God's masterpiece. Anything other than that that you tell yourself, any story that's inside of your head is just Satan trying to steal your joy from you. We tell ourselves, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, yesterday. Oh, my past. John Maxwell, he told me something that was life-changing, and it, it, there's a good... Uh, uh, visual for it here. Stop tripping over things that are behind you. If you were walking down the road or down the trail <clears throat> and you tripped over a log and you broke your arm, you're not going to get up and turn around and go back to where you came from and trip over that same log again. Or at least I would hope you would. So stop tripping on things behind you and have massive faith and understand that God created you as his masterpiece. And there is significance in that. And he created us anew so we can go do things he planned for us long ago. That means I made a post a little while back talking about uh, our Airbnb house and how I found the drawings. And that house was built in 1986. That was the year that I was born. God's been working God's been planning my whole life for 37 years. God's been planning your whole life since the beginning of time. He has had plans for you long ago. There's a lot of meat in there. And I love that. And I love being reminded that I am my creator's masterpiece. So embark on that journey. Anything else that uh, Satan's trying, any, any other story that you have inside of your mind, throw that out the window, light it on fire and have faith that God made you his masterpiece, and let's go win the day. See ya.